This is a long time coming, but I wanted to do a game room video to show you guys the full game room and everything that I have, because you guys may have seen it in various different places and you've seen it broken up, but you haven't seen the full thing, so I wanted to do that now and show you as part of the celebration of hitting 5,000 subscribers. So here we go. So all of my stuff is in the basement for the game room and this right here is the entryway to the basement and so I thought what better way to do that than to signify where you're going and this piece is actually done by my grandmother who was uh, no longer with us long time you know she passed away back in like 2009 but I uncovered this fairly recently and I was like I'm gonna hang this up I think it'd be really cool this is a painting that a friend of mine did. Uh, you may have seen him in like the Ghost in the Shell reviews, the Undercover Cops review. His name is Brian, and he's been a guest on the podcast and everything. And Brian actually did this. It's the uh, Link to the Past button that you would press, and Sahasharella or whatever his name is would uh, would talk to you, or Zelda would talk to you. And these are my square painter paintings. These are old school. These are a format that he no longer uses. But Square Painter and I have been friends probably since like 2009. So I have been getting paintings done by him, either commissions or stuff I pick up uh, from different shows. And they are a perfect way to go down into the basement. This one's really cool from the Game Boy Color Metal Gear. And then here we go, heading down the stairs. And one more, this is one of the newer styles. If the camera would actually focus. The light kind of screwed it up, there you go. All right, and here we are, the game room. All right, so this is a, another square painter painting that uh, I had to own. And this is a Metroid Prime standee with a random Smash Brothers championship belt that I got from GameStop or something like that. Uh, there's some unopened Amiibos specifically from Metroid and Castlevania, as well as the Bloodstained. Uh, I got this at New York Comic Con signed uh, by Iga, Koji Igarashi and uh, uh, the artist Mana. And it's one of my favorite pieces in the game room. This is my Amiibo set. And I, I collect Amiibos based on what characters I like. I don't really collect them just to collect them. So, you know, I've got, I don't know, like maybe 20 or so of just random characters throughout video games that I either like to play as in Smash Brothers or whatnot. And these are Castlevania figures. Those are the Nika Castlevania, Nika, Nika Castlevania figures. Another uh square painter painting and a nintendo power Mega Man x2 poster which i thought was really cool and then we're gonna move down to another random marvel poster there this is a, another piece that was done for me by square painter or not done for me but i ended up buying it off of him uh several years ago i really love this piece it's one of my favorite scenes in any video game ever and uh when i saw him uh post this online i knew i had to own it so um it's just i love the level of detail that he goes into the colors are just spot on just everything about this scene is so memorable in the game and it's one of my absolute favorite paintings that he's ever done for me or you know in general uh, this is a Mortal Kombat 9 poster. It's nothing special. I got. I think I got it at Walmart. This is this is the basement for the cat. So of course this is where the cat lives. Basically her little mini apartment. Uh, for those of you who know what this is, it's uh, you'll get a laugh. And I'm 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 not even gonna say anything, but I want to know who is gonna be like ah. I got it. We'll, we'll wait for the comments down and below. This is one of my favorite pieces in the game room right here. This is the Resident Evil remake standee. And I got it at Too Many Games, um, I think, last year. And it's just such a cool piece. I 
really love this and I uh, just wish the top wasn't damaged. This is an Archie Comics piece that was signed by the artist. Here's the Zero Mission promo poster and Power Bleed 1 art, box art. Here's the uh, limited edition flag poster for Ease 8 and uh, some of my daughter's uh, stuffed animals and uh, a bunch of other random game related stuffed animals. This chair is a little messy right now, but it's just because we recently redesigned everything and I'm just, I'm good. This is the last of the stuff that I have to go through. But uh, this is my favorite chair ever. It's a long time chair that I've had for years. My wife hates it. <laughs> this is something that I need to find a better frame or proper hooks to hang it. But this is uh, done by um, Peter Laird who uh, co-created the Ninja Turtles and it's inked by one of the artists from, I think, IDW or something like that. I got this in Wizard World and I'm a huge Michelangelo fan and just Turtles fan in general. <clears throat> this is uh, a poster for Perfect Dark from the, uh, I think it's the Brady Games uh, strategy guide. And uh, my favorite Power Ranger series is Power Rangers in Space. So I was able to get the figures on the cheap. And this is a, an awesome poster of Lara Croft, but done by Joe Jusco is one of my favorite comic book or uh, illustration artist. He did all the Marvel masterpiece art. So I, I really wanted this piece. All right, uh, here's more of the Archie comics artist that uh, I can't remember the name of him but uh yeah he did uh, final fantasy 7 and star fox pieces that i had signed these are my systems the nes sharp twin famicom super nes n64 and sega saturn there's also a box of controllers the xbox 360 and the gamecube and the dreamcast the wii u and uh pac-man and one of the ghosts and then Sega Genesis, Sega CD Model 2, which refused to focus, uh, PS2, uh, Thin Slim, uh, there's a PS4, and Xbox One. And then there's my record player with my mini PS1 or the PS1 One ONE and my Switch. This is a awesome PlayStation sign that I just got. I've always wanted a light up sign, and now I finally have one. A uh, little Bucky O'Hare action on top of my Ninja Turtles. That's where that uh, Michelangelo piece is going to go right next to that. Here's a Shantae uh, Kickstarter reward. And here's the Morgan poster, which has been recently relocated. This is my vinyl. I only have one box of vinyl, but uh, I've got tons of video game music vinyl. I'll just pick out a few. Here's a Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, Final Fantasy VII. And uh, here's some non vgm jethro tall minstrel in the gallery black sabbath master of reality here's the machine head burn my eyes and live in the studio record which was signed by the band and kansas left overture so there's more tons of castlevania but there you go we had to set up an office for my wife recently because of the coronavirus thing so i had to relocate everything so when you come over here there is all my nerdy action figures and statues, some board games, and some video games. So we're gonna tackle these first, starting with. All right, so here's my Metroid stuff, which uh, is pretty cool. We've got the World of Nintendo figures on the top, and to the right of that, there's the Conquer and Sonic Totaku figures. Uh, I only own two Pops, just uh, Trevor and Lara Croft, a uh, Robocop NES figure, and a uh, Trevor statue and a Wolverine bank. Here's uh, my Metroid Figma figures for Zero Suit Samus and Metroid. First four figures in the Joyride, I think it's called. Here's my little tiny Perfect Dark Shrine with a uh, really cool Perfect Dark Zero calendar. And the Perfect Dark figures as well. And uh, the pictures there that were shown were by an artist named Matt Flint. And uh, that was a Perfect Dark uh, uh, E3 pin. And uh, here's my Lara Croft stuff. 
again that picture was done by matt flint a really great artist uh this is just some promo stuff for tomb raider uh one of uh, my fans actually of the channel sent that tomb raider figure in the big one there and uh then that's something i won on twitter some uh, random other figure here's uh my statues kasumi from dead or alive and ninja gaiden's ryu hayabusa the newer version there's Sophidia from the Soul Calibur 6 Special Edition or Limited Collector's Edition. And here's a very sexy Morgan statue, which unfortunately the uh, wings are broken. Well, one of them is. So I've got a. I've tried multiple times to repair it and uh, it just keeps falling down. So I don't know. Here's my Tifa stuff. If it'll get into focus. There we go. So uh, I don't know who these uh, portraits on the left here were done by. I can't remember. I got them at a convention and framed them. Uh, this is the uh, Play Arts figures. There's one out of the box for Tifa. There's the uh, uh, figure that I uh, made that was a, uh, I put that together. That's a Fison doll with a Tifa outfit. And then just some other random little uh, Tifa trinkets. And uh, that little stuffed thing was something that Justin, my co-host, got me at a con. This is my Simon Belmont first four figure statue. The thing is massive. I really need like a better place to put it, but I got nowhere right now. So now we're going to move on to my games. Here's my PSP collection. And uh, these little acrylic things are from the Ease 8 limited edition, the collector's edition. Here's some of my uh, more like bigger, bulkier uh, collector's editions. Here's my PS2 games. And I've got quite a lot of PS2 stuff, so I had to stack it with uh, one stack in front of the other. So I had to move it, and there's the uh, the other ones. I've got some stuff I still need to go through for that to play. Here's my PS4 stuff. Again, a couple collector's editions. There's the uh, Bloodstained uh, Kickstarter. And here's just some more PS4. Some limited run stuff is in there. Here's my 3DS stuff. And a couple collector's editions from some of the games on the 3DS. I don't have a lot on the 3DS. A lot of my games are digital on there. Here's uh, my Castlevania stuff. Now you may be seeing this, you're like, wait, what, two? This is the only factory sealed game that I have. I happen to get uh, a secondary copy and uh, I wanted to keep it sealed. Uh, here's the rest of my DS games. Here's a couple other special editions. Here's uh, La Mulana 1 and 2, which I just got on the Switch. And here's more Switch games. That's the uh, Xenoblade 2 steelbook on the bottom there. Bloodstain, Sonic Mania Plus, Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Again, all just a couple of collector's editions. These are my GameCube games, my GameCube collection. And uh, this is pretty much since I've been collecting GameCube. Like I started, you know, back when the system was out. And I never really sold that much of my GameCube stuff. And what I did sell, I, I got back. But most of it is, is from my original collection. Here's my Xbox One stuff. And these games are the games that play on Xbox One. So I kind of like separated everything. So... Xbox original, Xbox 360 games. These are the Xbox 360 games that don't play, I believe, on the uh, Xbox One, if I recall. Maybe? I can't remember. And here's my OG Xbox games. Here's my Nintendo Wii collection, starting with the Collector's Last Story collection did a whole review on that go check it out and here is uh the rest of my wii games it's kind of hard because the cat kept running in front of the stuff so i had to pause it and cut it several times here's my wii u stuff along with the zelda twilight princess collector's edition thing All right, now we go on to the boxes. Now, this isn't all the boxes. I do have some in storage. 
uh, in the back, which uh, that's like the laundry room. I'm not going to show you guys that, but these are the boxes that I really wanted to showcase along with a couple collector's editions that I set up. It's kind of like the wall of special stuff. There's the Darksiders 3 collector's edition, Starlink, and that's a promo box for Final Fantasy VII. It's got the wrong date on it. Uh, this is really cool. This is one of my favorites of the collection. This is uh, signed by the composer Kinyo Yamashita, and uh, that is Battle Kid, the Famicom release, which is supposedly different, and there was a boxed Mario paint back there. Uh, that's all my Famicom stuff, and here's like a wide shot of all of the uh, of the top row, so you can see uh, most of the NES stuff is in a uh, like uh, on the very tippy top, which you'll see in a minute. That's all in. Oh, there's the cat. Yeah, this stuff. This is in like one of those like actual Nintendo trays. I just I had no room, and I happened to find these, so I was like, oh, cool. And there's uh, my light up pixel pals. Those are really cool. I wish they made more of those uh, for the classic figures. Not like the weird ones like uh, turtles and all that. Like I thought that was kind of strange because they look different. That was the Holy Trinity, Castlevania 1 through 3. Here's the rest of my NES games. And uh, I'd say NES and Super NES I have the most games for. Which makes sense because those are two of my favorite systems. I have the full Mega Man 1 through 6. I just have three boxed. And uh, you'll notice some of the games I have manuals for, some I don't. And uh, those are games that I just haven't found boxes for yet. Uh, that's Euphoria. That's a PAL game. And this is probably the most expensive game that I have. Uh, probably of everything, but I don't know. This is the uh, NES Power Blade 2. Uh, it is a legit copy. That's just a repro um box by uh, Video Game Dust Sleeves. There's the uh, Mega Man 3, Fester's Quest, Gargoyle's Quest 2, Journey to Silius, it's a favorite. That Metroid is basically factory sealed. It's uh, the top is the only part that's open. And I put my original like childhood manual in there. Same with Ninja Gaiden 2 and I think Batman. All three of those have my original childhood manuals. This is my Super NES collection. Uh, this was harder to get footage of just because it the, the lighting is really terrible even if I uh, put my lights in there to like highlight it it's just really hard because it bounces the light bounces off the plastic it's kind of difficult so I'm, what I'm trying to do right here is, is capture uh, there we go paperboy 2 operation logic bomb and uh, uh, phantom 2040 here's some more super NES stuff here's some import stuff Zenki which is a really cool uh, platformer, like action game uh, based on an anime series. Treasure of the Rodros, that was the uh, green cart. There's some heavy hitters there, Ninja uh, Ninja Warriors. Some uh, box stuff that was uh, real fast. It was Chrono Trigger, Super Castlevania 4, and uh, one of the Proteus games that I got uh, box complete. Some Super NES stuff, some, you know, just awesome childhood stuff. Th these are games that I absolutely love on the uh, Super NES. This is the, my Genesis stuff. I actually have a Sega Genesis like case, carrying case thing that I, I found in the wild. And uh, got a lot of Genesis stuff for not being uh, not being an, an initial adopter of the Genesis. I've really hunted down quite a bit. Most of the Genesis stuff that you see here I got for $3 like complete or you know missing the manual or whatever. But uh, the box and the game were mostly three bucks three to like alicia dragoon um i think maybe elemental master no elemental master i bought separately and then i bought the box for rolling thunder two and three i got for three bucks each uh, and here's just some more loose random genesis stuff that's uh i think that's marvel comics the punisher right underneath uh mortal Kombat. contra hard corpse some uh some N64 and I was going to showcase every N64 game that I own because they're all kind of hard to get I really need another bookshelf but uh, you know show the the box stuff the stuff that I uh, wanted to showcase here's some loose manuals that I've been collecting over the years that I just don't have room for I put them in a little baggie and here's some master system stuff that I have for my collection here's my PS1 collection I have quite a lot of PS1 games as well. 
um, the video kind of cuts in and out. I tried again, same thing with the cat. I had to pause it multiple times. And uh, then to the right of that, there's a collector's set for Lunar 1 and Lunar 2. And then behind that stuff is the Sega CD stuff. So uh, those three games right there, or three or four games, are uh, like bootleg, like reprint. Uh, or burned games, rather. There's some uh, PS1 stuff, the import stuff. And this is my PC stuff and some big box Dreamcast stuff. And uh, more PC stuff, Heavy Metal 2000 FAC 2 or whatever. And uh, Sharp X68000's Akamaju Dracula. Really cool. I don't own a Sharp X68000, but I own that. It's like one of my, also one of my more expensive games. Here's uh, my import Saturn stuff. I don't have a lot. I'm uh, a relatively newer collector for Saturn stuff. Uh, Albert Odyssey, I really need that back art. I was not able to find it. Uh, basically, I bought the game, and they were like, well, you can get the game, and, you know, it just doesn't have the back art, but it was only 80 bucks at the time, so I, I picked it up. I think it was a smart move. This is my Dreamcast stuff. And again, same thing. I, I don't have, like, a ton of that. Here's my Game Boy Advance stuff. And here's my Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Complete in box. And here's my Game Boy games. I'm not going to take all of them out. I've got a green, like electric green Game Boy in there. And there's a Shantae. Figured I'd show that off. That's in another video game, Dust Leaves Box. Here's a, a really cool Nintendo Power Robocop poster. Some advertisement posters for Castlevania, which I've had forever. It's for Order of Ecclesia. Chrono Trigger. That's a, a matted print that I, I put in a frame. This is a Bloodstain. It's the Kickstarter poster. I unfolded it and put it in a frame. And this is something I got at a con. I thought it was really cool. It's like a movie poster for Symphony of the Night. Here's my office. This is right next door. And this is a really cool Lunar Silver Star Story poster. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty beat up. It survived multiple moves of me, like, folding the poster, which I tried not to do. But, uh, you know, didn't have much of a choice. Uh, that was a Castlevania Netflix poster. And this is the How to Hook Up Super NES poster. I uh, finally moved all my strategy guides into the office. Now that my wife's stuff is out of there, put my uh, graphic novels, my Nintendo Powers, etc, etc. Some graphic novels, the Tomb Raider stuff. This is my collection of CDs. It's very disorganized right now. And here's some additional posters. Well, guys, that is the end of the Game Room Tour. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you stuck through to the end. I know it was a bit long. If you have any questions or want to make any comments or anything down below, certainly do so. I'd love to uh, hear what you guys think. Anyways, that's about it. And again, thanks so much for 5,000 subscribers, eight years worth of content. I am truly humbled by your views and your continued support for the channel, so thank you guys.